Sean Mendez and Life of the Party, Chime 96.7. We are Kitchener's Perfect Music Mix. How's it going? I'm Adele. It is a 414. We're going to do something a little different. I would like to introduce you to Holly. She is from Guelph. She is a transformative life coach. She has a psychology background. She is very well educated in astrology and she's intuitive. What I really like about Holly is that when she gives a reading, she's not, and this is not meant to offend anyone at all, but she's not like pulling cards and she's not, she's not fortune telling. She's a transformative life coach. No, and I'm so glad you used the word fortune because that was my fear for the beginning of my career was that I didn't want to be a fortune teller. I didn't want to look like a soothsayer or have a crystal ball because people start depending on your answers rather than taking control of their own life. And that's really what I want to do. I want to empower people to show them that you have a whole deck of cards and you can choose what what you want from that deck of cards and then you can make the most of it. What I like that I do and what astrology does really, it's not me, it's astrology. I just have to be really good at reading it and have been for 25 years is that I can give timelines and I can give you a map to that timeline and then I can help you take all of your strengths and all the tools that you were born with, which we usually talk about at the beginning, and use those tools to get the most out of this time frame, whether it's challenging or it's something that's quite fortunate, that's what I like to do to help transform people. Amazing. Now, your life has recently changed because you were endorsed by a pretty incredible doctor. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, Dr. Shafali. So I was big into internet radio. I've always been huge into talk radio. And I actually had my own uh, internet radio station, and I interviewed her like eight or nine years ago. And I did a a reading for her and her daughter and then she and I actually predicted her fame on on Oprah she had just written a book and she goes I want to go on Oprah do you think this is going to happen and I said yeah it's going to happen in February which is exactly when it happened no yeah it is oh it my gosh blew me away too now of course she got famous and you know how they say you don't forget the little ones well <laughs> she, she forgot forget that I she, she didn't forget me she, she remembered eight years later when I reached out to her again so what was really cool is my um, uncle is a uh, business coach and he goes Holly you need to do a reading for her and then follow up because I'd already gotten the okay that I could do another reading for her and I said no I can't do that you know he goes no you got to do it so that's what I did and she said I was the smartest cookie she goes good for you for asking me to reach out to my people and talk about you which is exactly what she did and I was getting hundreds of emails a day oh I bet yeah oh I can only imagine okay and we uh, put the call out to some chime listeners a couple of days ago to send us some emails if they wanted a reading from you and uh, what do you say we get started on that in just a bit that sounds amazing come on come on turn the radio on hey Christine it's Adele from chime how are you I'm doing so well. How are you? Good. Are you ready for your reading with Holly? Totally ready. You know, we had a conversation via email because I had asked you if you were in the legal field or if you were in a more creative field because you had the ability to do both. And it was really cool that you had said that you were a lawyer um, until you've launched this new uh, career. Do you want to tell me very, like in like one sentence, what this new career is about? I know you'd said it was about recording um, positive. Um, it is a series of guided journals. Right. The combination of self-help right. and journaling. So they're guided prompts for all of life's crazy things that happen to you. Loss and grief, cancer, all those type of things. Infertility. Perfect. Wow, wonderful. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. And you know what? What happened with um, you having that career around the legal stuff is fairness is very important to you. Harmony and balance. And that's what you, that's what you found in the workplace was all these people with this discontent and not having harmony and balance. And so you turned that into, uh, well, there's a need, I'm going to have a solution, which you're very good at. You're a very progressive thinker, and you can see trends. You can see this is something that's going to be needed in the future. Unfortunately, a part of that is frustration, because since 2000, the beginning of this year, you actually started getting kind of do gloomy about it and feeling like, well, am I just alone? Is this really not a thing? Nobody needs it. And because you're progressive like an inventor, you're way ahead of your time, but not by much, only about six months. You're going to go through some of this sort of gloomy state, feeling alone, having a lot of difficult communicating with people in authority that could really help push this product. And that's going to end in November, even at, as soon as the end of October. So just a few more months. It's really helping you to... 
uh, withdraw a little bit and uh, rather than have conflict with the other with the other person take a look at okay what else am i missing what other piece am i missing that i still need to add so that i can get this out there and then 2019 right at the beginning so happy new year's to you that's amazing thank you so how do you feel about this it's so spot on it is so 100 percent spot on isn't that crazy how accurate (laughs) she is so like she's so extremely aligned and in tune with my energy that amazing, the transformation part for sure. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us and good luck with everything. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time and your insight. Thanks, Thanks Christine. I want to say, first Thanks. of all, for Bye. Ryan, communication was something that held you back. You were very much of a teacher, even type of salesperson in a past life. And so the knowledge is power to you. And it actually frustrates you when people don't use knowledge to empower themselves. This comes from a past life engagement that you had that kind of went sour. Oh, my gosh. You should see the look on his face, Holly. I've never spoken to a clairvoyant or to anyone for that matter that, you know, speaks in such a way that you do. And, you know, especially using my astrology chart to figure Mm -hmm. out past life. I've never spoken about this before. So this is uh, incredible for me. Is it somewhat accurate for you? Does it ring true? Uh, Yeah. To be honest with you, it honestly helps me, like, realize that what I'm doing right now is what I should be doing. You know, it kind of confirms that and it makes me feel really good. That's the whole point. Validation. Mm-hmm. Validation is power, too. Right. Thanks, Holly. I'll pay you later because he was going to quit the other day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm just yeah, this kidding. Was not pre scripted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not yeah. at all. Okay. I'm afraid to ask about past lives and myself. Oh. One of the things with you is you were more of a philosopher in a past life. So you already had a very strong conviction and a strong belief system. And this was something that you shared. The really neat thing is that you didn't have to convince other people to believe in you people followed you just because of your belief and if they didn't believe in it then they just didn't follow you so you're actually when you speak your truth and you speak what's on your mind you don't really care if somebody believes in you or not or or gravitates towards what you're saying you're just like okay fine but i still believe in this my i'm convicted this is my conviction and i'm sticking to it so true yeah just a little bit (laughs) (laughs) ryan's been in meetings and you need your freedom (laughs) and i need my freedom that is so true you had that you were definitely like a nomad in a past life so in this lifetime there's that alter ego that says you know what i'm a nomad i'm a free spirit and i have to arrange my life to make it happen that way it's true i believe life is what you make it (laughs) ask holly hall on social media if you want to get in touch with her holly thank you so much Ask holly hall absolutely you are so welcome guys thanks holly